Hello, welcome to Ebony World TV. This is a couple sides of her plot. One of our clients has given us this project to handle with just supplying the, the iron girl now. And we will be showing you how to do a hair. Please remember this material. Uh, this material, Coxstar 200 MS, is a chemical that we use, we, we mix with cement, uh, granite. Um, so we are now showing you the inch by 12 and um, 2 by 3 wood that we are using to. Uh, to, to do the work. Okay, follow me. This is the iron rod, the 10 mm and 12 mm um, that is used to do the work. Um, okay, watch what we are doing here. Uh, men are on side delivering the iron rod and they are now cutting the iron rod into shapes they are being cut into shapes you cannot but get all these uh, work done please follow me there is a lot to be learned from this um, idea of our project Okay, they are bending the iron rod to position to start. Now we're going to go to um, we're going to go to the digging of the foundation. Okay, digging of the foundation. Okay, okay, now. Look at the depth of the foundation. Look at water at some point. Look at the depth. That is more than three feet. That's more than two feet at the bottom. It's a half plot. The owner of these is a clever person. And then we have just dug that out. What they are doing here is uh, um, to prepare... The, the raft that the fence will sit on. We are going to do a fence here. And to those of you who have bought land in situation like this, you come along to come and learn how to solidify your fence. You can see, we just dug it. It's not a very palatable site, but Come with me, you're going to learn a lot from this today. Okay, look at it, the situation, look at the look of the environment. Uh -huh. Look at the height, look at the timber, look at what they've bent the iron rod into. Look at it, look at almost the heart of the shoulder of the workman. Look at it, this is how the shape. Of what you are going to put in your foundation, okay? That's the shape. Look at that's how they're going to put them straight down onto the bottom uh, of the foundation. Look at it. You don't joke. We don't cut corners in Ebony Wall TV. All right. We do not cut corner here. Aha! They have now. Lay them onto the foundation they have cut. Look at them inside the water. Even the tea bath is already soaked inside the water. This is somewhere in Lagos Island. We won't tell you the location. Most of Lagos Island is full of water and the rain has not fully started. So if you have a situation like this, you have land like this, you have uh, 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 environment like this. This is what 
you are going to experience and going to do. Uh, that is uh, a lesson. But if you have a land, it's not bad. It's not all is not lost. All you need to do is to take the process that we are doing on board. Look at the water there. Everything we uh, we submerge, we put concrete, concrete hardener, chemical, and we put another particular type of cement, which I, I don't know where I kept the photographs. We have to mix this to be able to defeat and beat the environment we are working on. So you that you bought a land in areas like this, just watch and come with us. This is what needs to be done. This is a lady's project and she's clever. She bought half plot. She's not going to, she's not, she knows that what she can afford is half plot. And look at what she's built on the half plot. We didn't build the house, but we are constructing the fence for her. We're doing the fence for her in the right way. The normal way are uh, civil engineering. You know when the Todman Land Bridge was constructed, this is the same procedure. They have to cast, they have to cast the base, they have to mix chemical uh, concrete uh, um, hardener to the cement and granite uh, to they said, look at the height, look at the height of the yes, this let me tell you. If you know you want to, you want to, you want to enjoy your your house, or that 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 is on situation like this, a house, then we're using damp proof. We are going to use damp proof. We don't just build uh, a fence. We put damp proof right round the panels. You're going to see it. There's nothing we hide here. Yeah. We have to do the right thing. I remember when we were building Palladiana's fence. Three times the owner did his fence. You can imagine the three times he spent money that went down the drain before we were being called upon. This is the way to do it. So if you have projects that has water in the air on the land, don't be afraid. Look at it now. Yes, this is it. Has been with the chemical. Yes, yes. The chemical, the chemical. Yes, yes. Um, the chemical we have used on this. This is six, six planks. Six planks we have put on that is going to be to the height that we are going to reach. As a lot of material, a lot of concrete, and you can see. Look at it. Look at it now. Look at the, the improved membrane that we are we are already pushing around, and this concrete is being mixed here now. We've already put the chemical; the chemical has already been added. So all these are going into the uh, 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 the foundation that we've already done. Thank you very much for the thumbs up. Yes, yes. Look at it. The water is gone now. Yeah, we don't do it same day. We left, we did the first one, dries up. Can you look at it? That's a black nylon to prevent water from coming from neighbors. If the water is coming, flowing left and right, you will not say, you will, the water will not be able to penetrate our client's uh, uh, land. Look at it. Look at it. There's a, there's a lot of, yes, even the back, the back, the back of the fence also is all solidified solidified with the right material uh, we have used okay uh, uh, as you can see that the yeah, concrete is being poured out yes being poured out into the iron rod yes take this method to build any area where you find water let me tell you Water will not go away because it's stagnant. Water will not go away at all. All right. Sorry about that, uh, Sigma rolling. Uh -huh. 
So let's pour that the concrete that was mixed, all of it has been cleared. They have gone into the uh, 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 the place, right into the uh, foundation. You are going to see. Look at the. You're going to see the good job done by Ebony Wall TV. It's all precision, all braced up, nothing falling sideways. Everything is all intact, straight with precision. A damn proof membrane. All right. So when you're building, you have a little substance of water on your land to do your fence and to conserve what you have you got to do all this you got to make sure this is done um uh, inbox me yeah is costa costa is the chemical that we mix with the uh, 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 uh cement and another cement material there's another cement it's not it's a sachet we mix we go about we, we bought 10 bags of that sachet i will go we bought it uh, uh, 75, 75 liter, 50, 50 liter of the chemical. Yeah. So uh, you can see what has been. This is one side of the fence, which let me tell you, there is no spending twice by this client. You do it once and for all, you get it. You do it once and for all. Look at it. Everything is sealed and tied. Uh, and that's the brilliant proof membrane. Look at it. It's solid, solid, solid mix that is done. So on top of this, we'll put another three coaches of blocks. Well, the blocks, with, there's no weight uh, that this uh, foundation or this uh, fence will not carry. Let the water flow 24-7. It's not going to reach uh, this, this place. It will not. Oh, sorry. Uh, bear with me. Oh, bear with me. Uh. Right. So sorry about that. I think we've done that. We've shown you the video of that one. Okay, it's the same one. Yeah. Man is just analyzing and that's what he's done here today. Hmm. See if I can get sorry about the sigma rolling uh of the Yeah, that's another that's to, for you to see the inside properly. Um it's a very developed area. You see the inside is all all lo locked up um, in the area. So look at it. The motion, the activities, and that's the chemical there, which we have to mix. We mix with uh, with the substance, with the material, with substructure that we're doing on site. So learn your lesson. Make sure, but when you are doing things, make sure you have enough granite, enough sharp sand, enough cement. The owner procured 100 bags of cement, but we will use about 130 bags at mo at least or at most throughout the day. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, yes. Yes. We might have to do 100 bags of uh, 120 bags of cement. Well, the owner's property is well secured. Not spending money twice. Do it once and for all and get the right thing. Look at the height. They are all well job job done. Okay. I'm going to, I'm just giving you an idea of how we have network all the, uh, 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 all the uh, iron uh, rod. Um, so, can see. All right. So I'm going to stop there. It's a lesson for us. We 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 learn a lot uh, from Ebony World TV. Make sure you do things 
that you write the, you can uh, you can you can vouch for and you're not gonna spend two times three times the amount of money the more and the amount of money that needs to be spent we've learned lesson from quite a few clients and we have put the experience on this uh, all through all right so uh, gonna stop here today so we're gonna stop here today we will stop here today we're gonna stop here today um, I think I'm gonna give you and the next if you can come back um, we did did conduit um, uh, air condition conduit in one of our new clients place I'm gonna show you in next couple of minutes okay uh, thank you very much thank you 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 yes right okay i'm coming in the next couple of minutes to give you video for the conduit thank you